so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys another modded outfit from the outfit transfer glitch so remember that with the transfer glitch you do lose all your outfits except for only one so the outfit that you had one before doing the glitch is the outfit that you're not going to lose also make sure you go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece it doesn't matter which earpiece you buy just go ahead and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece from ammunition so like I said, you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one. So go ahead and equip the outfit that you don't want to lose. So when you're ready to start the glitch, just go ahead and come over here to the clothing store. Just go ahead and put your spawn location at last location. Go ahead and put on the outfit that you don't want to lose. Go ahead and hit your pause button. Go to online and go to swap character. So when you get in here you want to go over to your second character and it's either going to say edit or delete if it says delete just go ahead and delete that second character and then two new characters are going to come in and you're going to see the edit option on your second character so if you don't see the edit option on your second character right now just go ahead and delete that second character but if you do see the edit option on your second character just go ahead and select that edit option and when your character is going you're going to get this black alert screen right here that's going to ask you do you want to copy your stuff over just go ahead and accept this so this is what it looks like after you accept it when you get in here if your second character ended up being a male like mine just go ahead and change it into a female but if it's already a female just go ahead and leave it as a female go ahead and save and continue go ahead and make a random name for it and then take the picture after you take the picture it may or may not play the casino dlc trailer whether it plays it or not it's not going to affect the glitch you're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session so for me it doesn't play the casino dlc trailer but for some of you guys it might play so whether it plays it or not like i said it's not going to affect the glitch all you're waiting for is to get spawned inside of your new session. So when you get loaded inside of your new session, all you want to do is just go ahead and open up your um, map and you want to check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. Now, as you can see for me, there are no clothing stores in my session. So if there are no clothing stores in your session also, all you have to do is just go ahead and find a new session. But if you do see the clothing stores inside of your session, just go ahead and make your way over to any of the clothing stores. But like for me, it didn't show any clothing stores. And like I said, if you guys don't see any clothing stores, all you have to do is just go ahead and find a new session or switch sessions and then the clothing store is going to be inside of your new session. So now I'm getting loaded inside of my new session and as you can see there are clothing stores inside of this new session. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and make my way over to the closest, closest, closest? The closest clothing store so yeah so when you get to the clothing store first you want to come up here to the cashier and hit right on the d-pad on her you want to go to the scuba outfits and purchase the gray camo scuba so just come up here and go to scuba outfits and look for the gray camo scuba so number 18 after you have that just go ahead and back out and then go to the accessories now when you go to the accessories first you want to go to the earrings and if your female character is in with earrings because some female characters spawn in with earrings by default just go ahead and take them off so if your female character has earrings on just go ahead and take them off once you take your earrings off just go ahead and make your way over to the gloves and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves which should be number four so just go ahead and buy them when you have that just go ahead and come save this in an empty slot that's on your main character so if the outfit that you didn't want to lose it on your main character was on slot 20 you'll just save this in a different slot so just go ahead and save it in an empty slot that's on your main character after you save this outfit just go ahead and make your way over to the top section go to the leather bomber jackets and purchase the blue dotted leather clothes so just come over here to the top section go to leather bomber jackets and purchase the blue dotted blue dotted leather clothes so this one right here number 16 after you have that just go ahead and back out make your way over to the pants section go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants so just come over here to the pants section go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants 
once you have that just go to make your way over to the shoe section go to the boots and purchase the white cowboy boots i went past it by accident the first time but just come over here to the boots and purchase the white cowboy boots So these right here, after you've got that, just go ahead and back out, make your way over to the cashier and come save this outfit. When you save it, go ahead and save it right underneath of the first outfit that you made. So like I said, just go ahead and save it right underneath of the first outfit that you made. So after you save this, we're going to make one more um, outfit. So after you save this, just go ahead and make your way over to the top section, go to work jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes field. So just come over here to the top section go to work jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes field so this one right here number nine after you have that just go ahead and back out you want to stay in the top section go to tuck t-shirts and purchase the blue digital t-shirt which i think is number 75 so just come over here to the um tuck t-shirts and purchase the blue digital t-shirt Yep, number 75 just go ahead and buy that after you have that just go ahead and make your way over to the hat sections go to the caps forward and purchase the fall cap so just come over here to the hat sections go to caps forward and purchase the fall cap so number 16 it looks like just go ahead and buy that when you have that just go ahead and come save this outfit underneath of your last outfit that you made so in total you're gonna have three outfits so just come go ahead and come save this right underneath of the last outfit that you made after you save it just go ahead and hit b go to standard outfits and purchase the chica outfits just hit your back button go to standard outfits and purchase the chica outfit once you have the chica outfit just go ahead and back out hit your pause button go to online and go inside of creator Once you get loaded inside of creator go ahead and click on create a race and then click on land race when you get loaded in just go ahead and click on race details go ahead and fill out the title and description they don't have to be anything specific after that just go ahead and take the photo and then put the maximum players on two and put the route type on point to point when you have that just go ahead and hit your pause button and warp over to the airport when you get to the airport just hit b go to placement go ahead and click on place triggers Go ahead and place your trigger down. After that, just go ahead and back out. Click on lobby camera, go ahead and take that, and then back out of that, and then click on the checkpoints. And when you place the checkpoints down, the race has to be only 0.62 miles or longer. So just go ahead and make the race 0.62 miles or longer, and then just hit B twice, and it's gonna give you the option to test out your race, and you wanna go ahead and test it out. When you finish the race, you're gonna get this completed alert. You just wanna go ahead and accept it. After you accept it and you load in, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online and go to choose character. So when you get loaded in here, all you wanna do is just go over to your second character and you're gonna hit delete on her. So make sure you're on your second character. You don't want to delete your main character by accident. So make sure you go over to your second character and just hit delete on her and it's going to ask you to type in delete to confirm it. Just go ahead and do that. After you delete your second character, two new characters are going to come in from here. All you want to do is just hit B so it takes you into single player.
when you get to single player all you want to do is just go ahead and hit your pause button go to online go to play gt online and just go inside of an invite only session so just go inside of an invite only session when you get loaded inside of single player So when you get loaded inside of your online session, first thing you want to do is just go ahead and come save the outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. So just go ahead and come save the outfit. And when you save it, um, I recommend saving it towards the bottom. I just saved mine in the last slot, but you could just save it anywhere as long as it's towards the bottom. So once you saved your outfit, Those you just want to so go ahead and make your way over to the top section. Go to racing jerseys and purchase a cherry motocross racing jersey. So just come over here to the top section. Go to racing jersey and purchase the cherry motocross racing jersey so that one right there just go ahead and purchase that after you purchase that just go ahead and back out hit your pause button go to online go to jobs play jobs rockstar created go to versus and start up the versus job called crooked cops now remember when you start up Crooked Cops, you want to put the clothing on player owned and invite either a friend or a random. So if you don't put the clothing on player owned, the glitch will not work. So make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either one friend or one random so the game can start up. So once the um, job has started, just go down to owned outfits and hit right on the D-pad three times on it. And you're going to get this exact same outfit right here if you bought everything I bought in the video. So just go down to owned outfits and just hit right on the D-pad three times. And this should be what you guys have on. So from right here, just go ahead and ready up. So when the job starts or the mission starts and you are loaded in, all you want to do is just go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece, whichever one that you decide to buy. After that, just go ahead and open your phone and quit the job from your phone. So once you guys get loaded inside of your online session, all you want to do is go ahead and come to ammunition and come save the outfit. And once you save the outfit, you can go ahead and delete the three components since you don't need them anymore because you already got the outfit. So just go ahead and come save the outfit, delete the three components, and the outfit is yours. So if you guys enjoyed the video and were able to get an outfit, don't forget to drop a like on the video, share it, subscribe if you already haven't, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any other more videos. Also, with this outfit, if you um if you put a um, helmet on, it's gonna take off the top, but you're gonna get to keep the Tron pants and the shoes. So I'm just telling you guys that, just in case you want to put the um, helmet on it.